Yeah, I don't know. Depression and mental problems. This is a very tricky thing. I think, I don't know if perhaps as children, we, we try to boost children's egos by praising them. If you, if you, we try to teach them something and they get it right, we keep praising. I don't know if we uh, clap your hands and praise them, lifting them, make them feel good by themselves. I don't know if perhaps teachers or parents praise children too much because how do they react once they've grown and they don't get the same support outside? Whatever they do, there's no praise, there's no nothing coming their way. And, and, and somehow they slump into depression because they're used to being boosted, people being supportive and clapping for them and cheering them on and praising them for every little thing they do. Now, when that's all gone, and they're on their own and they don't have that structure, the support structure that keeps praising for whatever they do. They feel like they're doing whatever they're doing is of no avail. No one sees the good they're doing. And I don't know if that could be a thing. That even the slightest thing knocks them because because they thrive on praise and thrive on praise and thrive on, on being rewarded. So I don't know if that can also give give rise to depression. But of course, normally they say depression, uh, the, if there's a succession of triggers, like perhaps you lose your job or you lose a member of the family or you have a, you have moved to another place or you have a job change, which is not necessarily for the better, uh, or or some, or be, some, any big stressor in your life, if it's two or three stressors, such things can knock you into depression. Yeah, but I don't know about the praise thing, because, yeah, but that, that comes into play. Perhaps we, we praise our children too much uh, uh, from a young age, that they get used to it and they become dependent on it. So I don't know. Just my thoughts on it. Yeah, anyway, have a good day. The most important thing is try and stay positive. I always believe uh, exercise releases endorphins. One always feels better after exercising or laughter. Watching comedies and having friends and their laughter, you know, having a support structure, laughing a lot, always gives a person that upbeat feeling. Or playing sport also, you know, you know uh, helps to keep you your sanity and help you to keep uh, stay positive yeah and also just the, the of having team sports where you have friends and mates to rely on it also uh, helps you but the people that are very strong are these that they can stay on their own at home and do their own exercise by themselves or do things to entertain themselves whether it's sport or fitness or yeah you have to reach within and all the more during COVID times, people will become, the whole world is actually depressed right now. So you got to try and do things to lift your spirits. Hang in there, people, and stay strong.